2019, but so far we've only seen two as of the end of December. <music> Last winter, we had 14 freezes at the International Airport. Our average last freeze is February 14th for Jacksonville, but last February, we had no freezes there. You may remember last winter, we had some of that winter weather, especially north and west of Jacksonville. About January 3rd, we were tracking some icing accumulating on surfaces and even a little bit of snow closer to Waycross, Georgia. Well, in the rainfall department, above average is what we can expect thanks to an active subtropical jet dipping down closer into the southeast. That's all thanks to an El Nino pattern developing in the equatorial Pacific. Temperature wise, warm in the short term as we start the new year, but then near or slightly below average thanks to the increased rain. The clouds all due to that El Nino pattern. <laughs> of El Nino. Those winters here in northeast Florida and southeast Georgia are notorious for a few winter tornado outbreaks. That active subtropical jet bringing down those uh, areas of rain and even some thunderstorms. So something we'll be monitoring closely over the coming weeks and months here at the First Alert Weather Center. Specifically for Jacksonville, our last big snow was in December of 1989. Many of you may remember that. The pattern doesn't favor that as of right now. We'll continue monitoring that here over the next couple of weeks.